On-site investigation where JJ's restaurant on the plaza once stood is over today. The investigation's over, and today the co-owner and a few former employees combed through the rubble, hoping to pull any items they could from the debris. Sarah Hollenbeck learned they've even found a purse belonging to Megan, the woman who died in the explosion, something they'll give to Megan Kramer's family. This is the first time we've been cleared to get this close to the destruction. And let me tell you, it will take your breath away. Just take a look at what's left of JJ's restaurant. Not very much. This is the very first time a lot of the employees are able to get up into the damage and be able to see if anything is salvageable. Jimmy France, the co owner of JJ's, says for him, this is therapeutic. After having spent decades piecing together his business, today he's spending a few hours piecing together what little is left. All all of his employees are cleared to come back to this site, but he says many are too scarred to face what's left. The explosion killed one employee, Megan Kramer, and injured several others. It's a day none of them will soon forget. We find that one little, one little piece of history that's still intact, which is unbelievable because there's four feet of charcoal in that building right now and a whole lot of burned up, burned up equipment. Uh, but some of them want to get involved. Some of them want to put their hands in it. Jimmy tells me they plan to demolish what's left of this restaurant next week. While he's still wrestling with plans to rebuild, he knows if he does, the small mementos they find today will become a very intricate part of his next restaurant. In the Plaza, Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News. Now, sometimes still photos can really give you a better idea of the destruction, and they can be pretty compelling. Today, 41 Action News photojournalist Ron Bussey took pictures at the site, and we have them in a slideshow gallery on our website. But I did want to show you a few here on our air as we look at the scene here after being let in to JJ's and to see some of the rubble. Just look at the destruction. This gallery that we're looking at, just a few of them, there's 40 pictures in it. It's on our website, kshb.com slash plazafire.